In signing his book, The Book of the Beast, you swear to give your mind, body, and soul unreservedly to the furtherance of the designs of our Lord Satan. You said I would have free will. What we do in life echoes in eternity. The Tilling Adventures of Sabrina is perhaps one of the darkest, most satanic shows that I've ever watched. It is nothing like its predecessor, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, which was made as a fun, friendly TV series. I still can't begin to figure out the family secret. I think it has something to do with manure. Where do you get that? I just like saying manure. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is based off an American comic book series of the same name which was published by Archie Horror, an imprint of Archie Comics. Beginning in 2014, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is now a Netflix series that heavily promotes Satanism. In fact, every witch in the show has literally sold their soul to Satan himself. The show, of course, follows the life of Sabrina Spellman, a 16-year-old girl who is half mortal and half witch. And on her 16th birthday, which happens to be Halloween, Sabrina must have what is called a dark baptism. <laughs> During the dark baptism, Sabrina must be anointed with the blood of a human, and she must sign her name in the Book of the Beast. By doing this, she is pledging her life away to Satan himself. This means that instead of having the free will to do good, she must always be ready to serve Satan when he calls on her. In exchange, she is given powers beyond her wildest dreams. Many conspiracy theorists, including myself, will argue that this eerily resembles what we've been saying for years about Hollywood stars and musicians of every genre. In the past, I put together a compilation of clips of entertainers admitting they sold they so if you haven't seen it yet i suggest you go check it out this satanic ritual or dark baptism that we see in the chilling adventures of sabrina may be exactly what famous and powerful people do to achieve their level of success you, if you're if your ultimate goal is to be famous then you're gonna do a lot to do to get there like sign your name in blood in a contract with the devil like you're gonna end up in a, on a one-way street and it's going nowhere like that's just the truth i've seen i've seen so many people like forsake their 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 moral code and their value systems just for a little bit of fame and it's it's not worth it at the end of the day it's really not worth it. netflix was recently sued by none other than the church of satan satanists claimed that the show chilling adventures of sabrina did not have the rights to use the image of the statue of the baphomet aka satan it can't be good they also claim that the Baphomet isn't evil and that Netflix misrepresented the Baphomet by giving it the chest of a male instead of that of a female. But secret societies and occultists alike have been using this image of the Baphomet for some time. Surprisingly, it was recently revealed that Netflix and Warner Brothers settled with the Satanists over the Sabrina statue, although the terms and conditions of the deal was never disclosed. But it's also more shocking that Christians haven't tried to sue Netflix for this show. Netflix comes out with a satanic show about the Baphomet and selling your soul, which will be watched by millions worldwide, and Christians don't bat an eye. But the Church of Satan reveals a Baphomet statue that will only be in one city and seen by few, and Christians lose their mind. Throughout the series so far, you're constantly being programmed with words and phrases like praise Satan, thank Satan, and Lord Satan. What is it? A young man has just been stabbed. His mother and father are coming to see us. Oh, poor dears. Oh. Praise Satan. Even God, the God of the Bible, the Most High, is referred to as a false god throughout the first season. Actual demonic possession are extremely rare, despite what the false god and his propaganda machine would have you believe. Despite what Satan and his legion of demons will have you believe, there is proof and evidence that demon possession is probably more common than people are led to believe. Many conspiracy theorists and Bible-believing Christians will probably agree that it's a common thing for celebrities to be demon-possessed. I get possessed by, by the spirits. 
In the same episode, Sabrina's Aunt Zelda said it was uncommon. It actually happened to her friend's uncle. In another episode, it happened to Harvey's brother. And it almost happened to Sabrina while she was trying to perform an exorcism on her friend's uncle. And I can sing notes and sing strong and do all these things that when I'm just by myself, I can't do. And I remember right before I performed, I raised my hands up and it was kind of the first time I, I felt something else come into me. It felt like he was slithering down my throat. How did he do that? Look at her neck. It's gonna look like something is coming out of her neck or coming into her neck. It's very, very satanic and very disgusting looking. Beyonce has officially left the building. In the Bible, supernatural things happened all the time. And Jesus, or Yeshua, not only cast demons out of people, but he once cast demons into a herd of pigs. And the whole herd of pigs instantly ran down a steep bank and died drowning in a lake. When he arrived at the other side in the region of the Gadarenes, two demon-possessed men coming from the tombs met him. They were so violent that no one could pass that way. What do you want with us, son of God? They shouted. Have you come here to torture us before the appointed time? Some distance from them, a large herd of pigs was feeding. The demons begged Jesus. If you drive us out, send us into the herd of pigs. He said to them, go. So they came out and went into the pigs, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and died in the water. Those tending the pigs ran off, went into the town, and reported all this, including what had happened to the demon-possessed men. Then the whole town went out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they pleaded with him to leave their region. The chilling adventures of Sabrina not only heavily promotes demon possession, but you always see this theme of blood sacrifices over and over again. It's almost as if the Illuminati themselves made this show. Perhaps the creators of the show have been indoctrinated into this mystical satanic secret society or cult that we now call the Illuminati. And now they are trying to indoctrinate their viewers. Many will argue that everything you see in this show is put there to desensitize us to magic, evil, Satan, and the new age. And I agree. The big question we should be asking ourselves is if shows like this, American Horror Story, Salem, and even Harry Potter are programming us to be anti-God in exchange for us to be powerful witches and warlocks. It sounds crazy, I know, but recent studies have shown that more millennials are leaving the church, and some aren't just leaving, they're becoming witches and warlocks. According to many U.S. headlines, there are now more practicing witches in the U.S. than ever before. Does this have something to do with our day-to-day -day programming? We won't be hung again. No, not hung. Burned. Burn us, half witch? We are not of this earth. No earthly fire can burn us. No, not earthly fire. Hellfire. None but the most powerful can summon it devils and in the history of witches only three well it's about to be four it is said and believed that duality is common among major secret societies like the freemasons i posted a whole video that exposes the truth about duality and why it's a major part of the illuminati religion link will be in the description so understand this this is why Sabrina is half mortal and half witch. This is why, throughout all forms of media, we see this half and half theme played over and over again. Light and dark, white and black, good and evil. This is why you see the checkerboard so much. So is it all worth it? Should you side with the Dark Lord? The obvious answer is no. Satan is the father of lies. They even acknowledge the fact that he is the father of lies in one of the episodes. The Bible teaches us that gaining the whole world isn't worth us losing our souls. But like Sabrina, 
Satan promises us all freedom to do what we will. He promises us power and money. He promises everything our hearts desire. But like our modern day politicians, Satan never keeps his promises. Satan doesn't give you free will. He makes you his servant. He works you to death, using everyday people and turning them into superstars so that they can deceive the world forever and ever. The tragedy of this show comes at the very end of the first season. Sabrina finally gives in and signs her name in the Book of the Beast, giving her life, her soul, and her servitude to the Dark Lord, the Baphomet, Satan. When I call on you, girl, you must answer. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is a fictional show that neither confirms nor denies the truth about many of the conspiracies and Bible passages discussed in today's video. Because of this, I would like your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Is this show hiding the truth in plain sight? Are the conspiracies discussed real or fake? You be the judge. Also, let me know if you've seen this show and if you noticed anything I missed or didn't mention in the video. And one more thing, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button along with the bell so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. My name is Devin with Up TV and as always I love you family. Don't forget to give your life to Yeshua and I'll holla at y'all later. Peace. We need an article about the basketball squad and you're just the guy to write it Harvey. Don't worry it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I need to use the phone. Wrap it up lady. Oh, that's just our lonely, crazy neighbor. He came over to borrow more tin foil for his hat. Okay. I'll talk to you at school. Hey, it's my turn. This isn't fair. Write a letter to Peter. <laughs> Thank you for watching Up TV. If you like this video and would love to see more, check out these great videos here. And don't forget to subscribe to Up TV and Up TV 2 for even more great videos. <laughs>